welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yasmin and I make DIY home decor and organization videos every week. In today's video, I share with you how I created a few decor pieces using items that I got from Target's Dollar Spot. These were all super quick and easy to make and they all turned out really cute. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump right into the first project. In the first project, I created an entryway wall hanging organizer using this wooden round piece that I got for $3 from Target. I also used another piece of wood from the dollar store and three screw hooks for this DIY. I wanted to create a small shelf in the middle and add some hooks so they can be used to store things like sunglasses and keys. To start off, I measured and marked where I wanted each of the elements to be placed on the round piece. I also marked where I had to cut the wood to create the shelf. I used my miter saw to cut the wood to size, but you can totally use a regular hand saw that you can also buy from the dollar store for this part. Next, I made three pilot holes in the round wood piece using my drill and then screwed the hooks in place. I used some Gorilla Wood Glue and attached the wooden shelf to the round base and made sure that it was straight. I then let it completely dry before moving on to the next step. I decided to paint this with two different colors, so I taped off the shelf and used some chalk paint in the color French Linen to paint the top portion. I applied two coats and let it dry completely for about 15 minutes. Next, I used some regular black acrylic paint to paint the shelf and the bottom half. I only needed one coat for this part. In the last step, I used gold acrylic paint to cover the screw hooks. Now I remembered a little late that I wanted to paint these gold, but a better way to do this would be to spray paint the hooks before attaching them to the round base. But this method worked just fine too, only a bit more tedious. That finished off this first Target Dollar Spot Decor DIY, and I really love how it turned out. It's the perfect organizer for an entryway or any small space. For the second DIY, I customized wall hooks using only paint. I got two of these ceramic round hooks from Target's Dollar Spot, each for $3. I started by painting both with the same French linen chalk paint that I used in the last project. I did two coats on each and let them completely dry for about 15 minutes. In the next step, I looked at Pinterest for inspiration on organic flower and leaf shapes. Then, I used a fine brush and some black acrylic paint and freehanded those designs on each of the pieces. You can obviously draw any shape or object that you like, so make sure to personalize this to your taste and style. <music> 
that really was it for the second dollar spot DIYs and I think these wall hooks turned out really cute. I'm planning to hang these in our closet to organize some small handbags or jewelry. Believe it or not, this third project is even easier than the last one as I DIY two glass vases that came in a pack together for $5. These both had a frosted dipped look at the bottom and I decided to play off of that look but to make them more trendy and elevated. To do so, I used some painters tape to cover the areas where I didn't want the glass to be painted. For the shorter vase, I just covered the whole top portion and for the taller vase, I covered the middle, leaving the bottom and top to be painted. Next, I took both in the garage and used the brass gold spray paint to spray the shorter vase and a white spray paint to paint the taller vase. I let the first coat dry for about 30 minutes and then did another coat to make sure I have full coverage. Then I decided to give the taller vase a stone-like texture, so I used Rust-Oleum spray paint and bleach stone and sprayed over the white areas. I flipped the vase and repeated this step one more time and let it completely dry. I really love these stone texture spray paints as they help create an expensive look on any decor piece, but the trick here is to have a regular color spray paint underneath as they don't have a lot of color and coverage by themselves. Once everything was dry, I removed the painter's tape and that completed these third Target Decor DIYs. I'm so happy with how these vases came out as they look like they're from West Elm or Pottery Barn, but for way less and I can't wait to style them around the house. In this DIY, I customized a monster leaf shape mirror that was only $5 from Target using some acrylic paint and gemstones from the dollar store. I started by removing the mirror from the packaging and mixing in a deep green color, just like how a monster leaf would be. I then used a small brush and painted all the carved out grooves in the wooden frame. This process was very repetitive and it took about 45 minutes to complete, but it was very therapeutic for me. With that said, you can totally skip this part if you don't want to spend the time or you like the original look better. To give this piece a little more interest, I used some green gemstones and glued them on the frame using hot glue. I chose to attach these in a few different areas, basically at the tip and base of each leaf section. Again, make sure to customize this to your taste by using less or more or different colored gemstones. That was it for the fourth Target DIY project, and I think this is such a cute, functional decor piece to use in any bedroom or bathroom for some fun styling moments. For the last project, I DIY'd this $3 wall hanging from Target using some acrylic paint and a stencil that I got from Amazon. This wall hanging kit came with a ceramic hexagon piece, two wooden diamond shapes, and a rope to connect them all together. To start off, 
I place the stencil on the ceramic hexagon and use a small piece of sponge and some black acrylic paint to trace the pattern. Once finished, I remove the stencil slowly and carefully to avoid any paint smudging and I let it completely dry for about 15 minutes. Then, I used the same black color and a small brush and painted all the edges of the hexagon and the wooden pieces just to add a bit more interest to this wall decor. In the final step, I threaded the rope through the holes and made knots in the back to connect all the pieces together. this last target decor DIY and I like how this wall hanging turned out. You can totally customize the pattern to whatever you like to match your space and aesthetic better. I hope that you enjoyed these target dollar spot DIYs and got inspired to create your own home decor pieces on a budget. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!